<laughs> oh my, oh my. <gasps> Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode from the Block Breaking SMP. In today's episode, we are going to be focusing on getting our spawners all set up and into XP farms so that we can convert those farms into products for our shop at the shopping district. Next, we're also going to be working on moving our trees, our crops, our villagers, and our animals all down into that second layer where that nether portal is located to kind of move everything underground for our civilization and our village. Right away, we had a visit from Lefty. In some off-camera time, we had decided to do a cactus for Diamonds Exchange, so he was just stopping by dropping off diamonds, picking up cactus. We walked over to the little blue that he left for me and we just kind of talked about how great the pun was. He gave me another diamond because he's a kind person. And then we kind of just talked about my base, the plans that I have for it. And then we went over to his base to check it out. And Lefty also said that he would help me get some diamond armor, which I really need because I was still rocking iron. So we went over to his base to check things out. Yeah, so I do not have much yet. I have these. I Whoa, you have so many chests. Wow. I mean, you yeah. you're still doing pretty good. You got shulker boxes, you've got lots of chests, you've uh, you've been through yeah, the I nether. Got, I, I oh, that. the acacia and bio. What, what what do you have on? You have the helmet, right? Hi, uh, yeah, I just got a helmet. So yeah, I just Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, you're soon yeah, so... you're too nice. If you want more cactus, I will give you more cactus. If you want terracotta, yeah, I, I'll give you a I, bunch I of stacks of terracotta. Right. Which direction is the flower farm? Well, what I'm so see? excited. Uh, which direction is the flower farm? Yeah, it's that direction. Let, let me show you in a bit, but first, <gasps> let's get down oh, here. I've got diamond gear. I have the mines. You've seen that already. Ah! Oh my, oh my! <gasps> not, not, not the video. Not oh no! <laughs> oh, oh my word. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, the, the, what did I the, do? Not, the middle part was important because <laughs> you can fall everywhere. But <laughs> <laughs> there was the, the one block that I wasn't supposed to be on, I found. Yeah. Oh my Atlanta. Okay, I'm in the nether. And I need to go towards your area yes, yes. and pause. I had turned off my recording as I was running back to Lefty's area, but I forgot to turn it back on. And once I got back to Lefty, we decided to go on a flower biome finding adventure. And I forgot to turn my recording back on until we came across the most epic stalactite cave I've ever seen. Whoa. You can bet oh I'll be making word. something out of it. <gasps> yeah, this place is crazy. Yeah, because I'm I consider myself quite a creative individual and I'm already thinking about mini games. Yeah. Like we could <gasps> maybe make a hide and seek hero or something. Oh for sure. That would be super fun. <gasps> oh hey, here's a bunch of the purples. This is a oh, good yeah, chunk you know, for you. Look at this. I unfortunately used my and pick instead of the oh no so they are all mad <laughs> which ones it, yeah both you, you can get ahead as well if you smash them <gasps> yeah, I, got head. Nice. I almost died though <laughs> wow they sting like crazy nice so now you have an angry beast head. Um, I might die. That that's what happened. So like one of let's grab the big Now they're all bones. mad. I have I have amazing swords. So ah no. This is. <gasps> oh no. I'm literally about to die. Yeah, like you can kind of spot it all the time due to the nether portal actually. Yeah, I mean you get used to it. I mean, I yes. barely ever miss this now. Yeah. But I can always spare you another pick if, if you if you need it. 
just supplied me with all the things to get you the things. Yeah. Well, have yes, you met? it's been a fun adventure. Thank you for giving me full diamond gear and silk touch yeah. books. Well, guys, our adventures today have been extremely profitable. I got full diamond gear and enchanted diamond pickaxes and shovels and a bunch of other books and things just from adventuring with Lefty. I honestly was just planning to uh, slowly grind away at projects today with just my iron pickaxes. Wait, what is behind If this dirt house, it's still here, means Parrot was AFK. <gasps> should, we, should we pull a prank, guys? I think that would be kind of funny. Got an AFK Parrot? Should I do something, guys? I feel like I have to. I feel like the prank is like, it's a must. I have to, I have to, uh, oh, gotta keep him safe. He wanted Netherlord. That's what he was waiting for. So Parrot messaged me and said that he was AFK outside of my place because he wanted another wart. So I'm going to... Does he... <gasps> okay, he picked it up. That's what he wanted. So I'm just... Ooh. I'm just going to give him the nether wart that he wanted and we'll just close this up with dirt. You know, I'll be nice. This is the first time Parrot's been AFK. I can't just prank him right away when he's AFK, right? I need to, I need to lull him into a false sense of security that duh little red will be nice and leave him alone. So that's the plan guys. So he wanted another wart. He got another wart. So uh, I think, I think that should be good. Let's go on with our day. And it looks like Parrot got our order of terracotta for them. And I have a, ooh, a coupon for 64 candles. The next projects that we're going to work on today are setting up some spawner farms. So we have access to a skelly spawner, a zombie spawner, and we also have some mine shafts around so that we can even make a spider spawner. Granted, it's a it's a cave spider spawner, but you know, it's still it's still spiders, right? Just just dangerous fast, small ones. Yeah. But that's what I want to work on today is just spend the next bit of time in this episode getting some of those spawner farms set up. Two hours later. You brought me things. Wow, that's, that's so nice. <gasps> Yay, I can make chickens. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I will hopefully have chickens that. now. I got you these. <gasps> Ooh. Glowing. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, that sounded really interesting. Just a few more things. Basically, I got you, like, the most precious item on the server at the moment. The most? Slime boy. <gasps> Ooh, yay! <gasps> Yes, yes, I appreciate it. This is great. <gasps> All and the things. I brought you this. <gasps> Nether wart. Yes, the nether floor. But give you 16 and <gasps> thank you. That should be <gasps> wow. <gasps> yes, April, that should so ve maybe. be very helpful. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Thank you. That's very helpful. I appreciate like it. Like my wings, by the way. <gasps> yes, that's very exciting. Now very you can fly here much quicker. How exciting. Yeah, might as well just take this one. I have one on me. <gasps> you can take that. You're giving me another diamond? <gasps> yeah. Thank you. And good luck with the farms. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. You. Well, that was very nice of Lefty. My goodness. He came by and gave me a diamond, some glow ink sacks, another wart, and a bunch of eggs and slime. But man, guys, we have such really kind members on this SMP. I'm very grateful. Lefty has been very, vi why? <laughs> I don't know who left this. <gasps> because he was attacking me, okay? I had to kill the bee. He was mad at me. I wanted his bee hive, okay? So don't, don't judge me. But man, guys, literally, Lefty has been very helpful. They were the ones that gave us full diamond gear and now six diamonds, slime, eggs, nether wart, 
glow ink sacks and most of the stuff inside the chest well not all of it but a lot of the nicer stuff so many nice things from lefty being so kind so thank you thank you lefty i appreciate it between uh lefty and time i really got a lot of uh gear figured out and uh stored up and uh i i got a little bit richer because of those two people so i'm very thankful to them that is amazing but uh, now that we've uh, gotten a little visit from Lefty, it's time to get back to our farm making. Well, uh, hello. Hello, a quick little drop off. <gasps> a that present. Is... <gasps> One. Wow. <Shulk>. Whoa. <gasps> Shulkers. Oh. And you're free. Back away, back away. I guess I should sleep. Oh, there we go. That's right, I you die. I think you know it's asleep. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> and a vulture. <laughs> wow. <gasps> oh yes, the achievement. Oh, and oh. Wow. <gasps> wow. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my goodness, you are so helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Some rockets as well when you first fly. <gasps> oh wow. <gasps> wow. I appreciate it. Are you are you getting more mossy? Uh, since since I last saw you, it, it just seems a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, you've been playing in more moss, I see. Hmm. Oh, just a little yeah, bit. Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. Well, you look very mossy, Christmassy, Mister uh, Mossy Claus, Mossy Claus, Santa Claus, yeah, Mossy yeah, Claus. Yeah, yeah. I he said. Oh, mossy tree, oh, mossy tree. <laughs> oh, you're so stinky. <laughs> I'm uh, working on my uh, spawner rooms because I'm going to do uh, bone meal and bones for my uh, nice, nice, for my shops. <laughs> wow, look at the wings. Whoa, yay. Thanks. I need to, I need to test this out. How do I? <gasps> ah, I, I struggle. Oh, I had it! Yes! <gasps> wow! Wow! Oh, I'm so excited! Wow. I thought you was gonna die. I did too! I was like, oh, I need, to, <laughs> I need to do something quick. Thank you. You are very helpful for getting me uh, forward progress in, no in the game. So, I appreciate it a lot. There he goes! Wow! Fly him up high! Man, guys, I got two shulker boxes and an elytra and some books. Wow, why are we so nice? Look at us. We've got an elytra now. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I look pretty sick. Whoa, that was some lag. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you have know. to quickly uh, rush off. Sounds good. Um, well, thank you for the gift. Here. I appreciate yeah, no it. No problem. No problem. Um, yeah, thank you. I'll You're so nice. While. See you later. Mossy Claus. Bye. Bye. Wow, guys, what the heck? Everyone's being so nice to us today. I got an elytra. I got rockets. Uh, he got two shulker boxes and mending for my elytra. Wow, guys, what's going on? This, these people are so nice to me. It's very helpful. Literally, like, I, I, I don't know how far I would be and how long it would take me, but it would take me a lot. So I, I really appreciate time. Like, what on earth? What on earth is this? Why? Are you invisible? What? What? Nope. Nope. There's more of them. No, thank you. What is time doing? Marco. Oh. Say, are you any good at making, like, skeleton spawner XP things or no? Because I'm trying to get the water to work, and the water's not working. I got it set up wrong. I got a farm skeleton. Yeah, you're my bat, guinea pig. Bat. Yep, there you go. Bat, there, bat, yep, skeleton. Bat, bat, yep, bat, yep. Bat, and then Shoo. Oh. Okay, why did that? Oh. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate your help. This is really bothering me. Um, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Well, everyone, we have officially got our zombie XP farm and skeleton XP farm finally, finally done. Uh, I had a little bit of help from Time earlier today setting up the skeleton spawner because I, I did something to mess it up, but uh, thank you to Time for helping me figure out what was wrong. 
then I was able to easily finish setting up our zombie XP farm, but here we have it, guys. I think I'm going to put some tinted glass potentially here just to kind of keep an eye on them. But if we start going this direction, so down here, look at all our zombies. We have quite the, z the zombie XP farm and our skeleton XP farm. Oop, don't hit me. I'm going to put some tinted glass here as, Oi! as well. But uh, we do have to uh, kind of make that monstrosity look a little bit better. This is where our little slicing and dicing room for our skeletons is located. I'm going to have bones and bone blocks be the main thing that we do for uh, the shopping district. But yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm really excited to have both of my spawners set up in our 1.18 world and on the SMP so I can actually contribute to the server. So excited for that. Now, the next thing I want to do in this episode is uh, get rid of the herms and haws in my... <laughs> in my home so i'm going to work on moving our villagers from being inside my house down into our below the surface area and they are going to be the first ones to actually live down here officially that's kind of the plan uh we're just gonna figure out a place to put them move them down there and then start trying to get them some trades as librarians. Alrighty guys, we now have our villagers in this little section over here. So I am going to just leave them here for a while because I want them to breed and have little babies. But we are going to give them some jobs and uh, see, see what we can get. I finally found some sheepies! Yay! I've been looking for sheep for quite a while now, so we're gonna add them to our little area as well. And now we have to <laughs> get them down our staircase uh, very carefully. I'm really afraid. Where's Pippi Pie? Hello! I'm really afraid they're gonna fall. Uh, but you know, this is, uh, this is the progress we gotta make. Alrighty, we have our sheep in a little uh, spot in our cave area. So this is where I place them pretty close to our main area. But I think this area along this wall, I'm going to make our animals. So that's kind of my plan with that. Alright, now this is the saddest little thing for chickens. But we're going to put our chickens in here and then make their home look a little bit nicer in a later episode. Alright guys, how many chickens do you think we're going to get? We got three stacks and six so let's make some chickens well we got a one two three one two three four five six seven so uh i'd say that's pretty good for the little chickens Alrighty, we have our trees starting to get moved to our inside second layer. We've got our honeybees, we've got some of our cocoa beans. We're starting to get some crops in here. We've got villagers over there, and we have our sheep and chickens over here. Next, we need to move our cows from where they used to be, uh, down the little staircase, and in here so that will be an adventure in and of itself so we'll we'll see how that part goes we've got our little friends so we're going to bring them down under and we'll uh see how this goes i i have a feeling they might fall to their death but you know we're gonna we're gonna hope for the best a few moments later and this is exactly what i was afraid of the danglers it, it's fine. <laughs> Goodness. Maybe if I just electrify them. Should we try that, guys? They're already gonna dangle. We might as well just go for it, right? I have no idea if this is gonna work. We could all just die. <gasps> I have... Oh, dang it. Alright, stay there, mister. You're the last one. You have to survive. Just stay there. Okay, you. 
we must get downstairs without any issues, okay? Now follow me. And uh, now I only have one cow. Great. Guys, look it. I feel like this is pretty rare. I got a cow's head. Isn't it that only really the rare ones drop heads? If any of you have been watching Empire's SMP when Joey Graceffa and uh, LD Shadow Lady did a head collecting contest, Joey kept trying to kill a bunch of cows and never got a single head. And I, I just got one, so uh, I... I don't know what to do about that, but I'm I'm happy about it right here. Well, everyone, today was a very successful episode, I would say. We have an elytra, we have full diamond armor, we were able to get both of our XP farms all set up so that we can start putting some bone blocks in the shopping district as our trade. We were able to move all of our villagers, our sheep, our cows, we got some chickens, and we moved them all downstairs to our second lair. We also were able to move the villagers down there so they're no longer humming and, and hawing in our, in our house, so that's great. But yeah, guys, this was such a good episode. I'm very thankful to Lefty for just helping me get full diamond gear and to Time for helping give me an elytra. You guys are both amazing, and to all my viewers, if you guys have time after watching this episode, go on and check out Lefty and Time's channels as well. Like some of their videos, subscribe to them. I'll put their links down below. But I'm just really thankful to be with them on the SMP. They're both super fun people, and it's awesome to meet some really great people throughout this SMP series, and I can't wait to have more collaborations with them. But that is all the time that I have for today's episode. If you are new and this is your first time visiting my channel and watching my content, please consider subscribing. It really helps up my channel a lot since I'm a smaller content creator. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it, if you're excited for new content, if you're excited for this SMP series in 1.18 terrain, and I will see you guys next time.